YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Alright folks, ding ding ding, survey says you need some new weapons, considering a lot of our old weapons have been sunsetted. Well, with Beyond Light and also Season of the Hunt, we have a lot of new weapons to grind for, and I'm not even going to talk about the raid weapons just yet because, well, actually the raid weapons, their perks and roles are not in the database. But in this video, we're going to go over all the different weapons, legendary weapons, I think you should be grinding for, including Iron Banner weapons that are coming with this season. If you enjoy this video, a like rating is very much appreciated, but more importantly, subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber. Almost 47% of you guys who watch my content are not subscribed. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. You could unsubscribe at any time. All right, let's get into it. Now, we're not going to cover all of the legendary weapons because, well, there are a lot and we'll be here forever. Also, the raid weapons, they're showing up in your collections, but in the database, we can't really see the perks just yet. So, but I will say, from a looks perspective, they look incredible, absolutely incredible. But let's just kick it off with talking about some weapons and all of this is going to be subjective. So please let me know in the comment section what your opinions are on some of the weapons that I talk about and some of the roles that you either have and like or would suggest instead. First up, let's talk about the Arctic Haze. Now this one comes from Europa, either found in Europa or by grabbing a quest from Varix. Now, this one's a rapid fire frame one, and it fires 720 rounds per minute with an impact of 18 and range of 32. Now, the curated version is going to have Genesis or Elemental Capacitor on it. However, I think in terms of rolls, well, one, I want to get accurized rounds, and I'm not really going to talk too much about columns one and two unless I see something that really pops out. But I want to get this thing definitely with Thresh, okay? That's a new perk here. Killing combatants with this weapon will generate a small amount of super energy. Then it's got some pretty other good perks too. You can get it with subsistence. Kills partially reload the magazine from reserves, but reserve capacity is reduced. It comes with outlaw. It's got mulligan, triple tap, Killing Wind, where final blows grant an increase in mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short time, or Genesis. Next up, we've got the Hailing Confusion. Now, this one is a legendary pulse rifle. This one's an adaptive frame pulse rifle, and I like those. I'm sick of the high impact ones. Now, the curated version comes with Slideways and Demolitionist. However, in terms of the random rolls, you can get some pretty interesting things on this. Well, one, you can get high cal rounds, armor piercing rounds, and ricochet rounds. I like that. You can get Outlaw, Slideways, Firmly Planted, Pulse Monitor, Surplus, Increase Handling, Reload Speed, and Stability for each Fully Charged Ability, or even Zen Moment. Now, in the final column, we've got Elemental Capacitor, Unrelenting, Rapidly Defeating Targets will trigger Health Regeneration, Guardians and More Powerful Combatants count as more than one kill. You can get it with uh, a full auto trigger system. Demolitionist, we have Wellspring. I like this one. I want to get it with this. Kills with this weapon generate ability energy. This energy is divided between your uncharged abilities. And I like this because with Stasis, I'm always trying to get my grenades and my melees back. And for me then to always have to put on either a weapon with Demolitionist or uh, put on Monte Carlo to get my melee back it gets a little annoying. So if I can get this weapon or any other weapon for that matter with Wellspring, that's a win-win. Next up, let's talk about this bow here, Biting Winds, that comes from the moon. And let me be frank, I, I'm not well versed in bows, legendary bows, because I mainly use the exotics. But this one has an impact of 76 and an accuracy of 78. Now in terms of the curated role, it comes with moving target and explosive head. Now I personally, I got a moving target and rangefinder role and I am really enjoying it. You can get it with Killing Wind, Final Blows, Grants Increased Mobility, Weapon Range, and Handling for a Short Time. You've got No Distractions. Uh, aiming this weapon for a short period of uh, time reduces uh, your flinch. You've got Rapid Hit. You've got Quick Draw. Surplus increases handling, reload speed, and stability for each fully charged ability. You've got Unrelenting. You've got Sympathetic Arsenal. Reloading after a final blow also reloads your stowed weapons. Swashbuckler, Rangefinder, Explosive Head, and also Snapshot Sights. Next up, we've got an Iron Banner Hand Cannon. And even though it's a reskin, 
It is an aggressive frame, so slow firing, slow reload, but very high damage. But it can roll with some pretty good perks. So it can come with high cal rounds, ricochet rounds, or armor piercing rounds. But in terms of perks, we've got Killing Wind, Zen Moment. It's got Outlaw. I, I definitely need Outlaw on it because I'm a panic reloader. We've got Quick Draw, Slideways, Moving Target if you need aim assist like me with my bad aim. It has those new... Iron Banner perks we got last season, Iron Grip, which massively improves weapon stability at the cost of reload speed, and Iron Gaze massively improves weapon target acquisition at the cost of weapon range. It's got Swashbuckler, also comes with Wellspring again, so if you need that ability energy, get kills with this. Then we've got Mulligan, so if you miss a target, it can return some ammo to the magazine and snapshot sights. Then we have another Iron Banner Scout Rifle, and yeah, again, a high impact frame Scout Rifles. I can't stand high impact anything well the curated comes with slide shot and vorpal weapon so you can get this thing with high caliber rounds ricochet rounds and armor piercing rounds comes with rapid hit i like that because it will increase your stability and also the reload speed sometimes i feel like it's better than outlaw it's got slide shot quick draw surplus increased handling reload speed and stability for each fully charged ability ambitious assassin we've got hip fire grip why would you need that uh it's got the two uh iron banner perks iron grip and also iron gaze this one comes with vorpal weapon increases damage against bosses vehicles and guardians with their super active it's got one for all hitting three separate targets will increase damage for a moderate duration so this is something new that's a new perk right there it's got osmosis using your grenade ability charges this weapon's damage type to match your light based subclass until you stow it so um i might want that perk on this thing and then we have zen moment to help with the recoil because when you cause damage with the weapon it's going to increase its stability new kinetic sidearm from the moon high albedo i think you pronounce it this one fires 491 rounds per minute and 27 in the mag impact of 80. so the curated is full auto and it's got unrelenting rapidly defeating targets will trigger your health regeneration guardians and more powerful combatants count as more than one this one could come with accurized rounds i definitely would get it with that we've got ambitious assassin slideways threat detector surplus we've got killing wind and full auto we've got snapshot sights we've got wellspring again love that perk unrelenting demolitionist we've got head seeker body shots landed from this weapon increase your precision damage for a short time and also high impact reserves that's where the rounds at the end of the magazine will deal some more damage next up we've got a europa fusion rifle the coriolis force i normally don't like the high impact anything but on fusion rifles i think they kind of work i do like the trials one Anyway, the curated comes with Killing Wind and also Range Finder. So I think you kind of want this thing with Range Finder. So you can get it with Accelerated Coils, Enhanced Battery, Ionized Battery, Liquid Coils, Particle Repeater, Projectile Fuse. But in terms of the main perks, you can get this with Ambitious Assassin, Pulse Monitor, Under Pressure, Killing Wind, Moving Target, Feeding Frenzy. I want Feeding Frenzy on this thing because of the really slow reload. You've got Slideways, Eye of the Storm, Unrelenting, we've got Range Finder, we've got One for All again, we're hitting three separate targets, increases damage for a moderation, and we have Thresh. So for me, I would say I want Feeding Frenzy, and I'd either want it with Range Finder or Thresh. And just a real quick plug, guys, try the 450 round per minute auto rifles in the Crucible. Now that they kind of brought down things a little bit in terms of the 600s, I was wasting people last night using Uriel's Gift, and Uriel's Gift you can infuse up to 1360, and yeah, I was having some really good luck with it, so I'm trying to get a good roll in it. There's not too many good rolls in it. I have like Dynamic Sway Reduction and I think Disruption Break on it, but try to get yourself a good Uriel's Gift for PvP and give it a shot. I might break out my old Tiger Spite, even though it's sunsetted, just for regular Crucible. Next up, we've got the Friction Fire Submachine Gun. Now, this one is going to come from one of the Wrathborn quests or hunt for the Wrathborn. So this one is 600 rounds per minute with an impact of 25 and range of 56. Precision frame, so we'll have a more predictably vertical recall pattern. The curated version has field prep and rampage. This one can come with accurized rounds. I like that on anything. Oh, we've got Killing Wind, Subsistence, Threat Detector, Auto Loading Holster, Zen Moment, or Field Prep. Field Prep is when you drop and crouch and you reload really quickly and you also have increased ammo reserve. I would say from this column, I would like either Subsistence, 
maybe Zen moment and maybe field prep. Uh, the final column, you've got unrelenting, you've got sympathetic arsenal, reloading after the final blow, also reload stowed weapons. You've got slideways, you've got wellspring, I like wellspring where you get your ability energy. And then you've got vorpal weapon or rampage. So I'd say from that column, I would want rampage or wellspring. Next up, we've got another weapon from the hunt for the wrathborn. This one is a uh, legendary energy grenade launcher, the deafening whisper. So this thing, the curated version, can roll with uh, Killing Wind and also Rampage. It's got proximity grenades and also smart drift control. So this is one of those grenade launches where it's got one in the tube. So you can get this with high velocity rounds and implosion rounds. In terms of perks, we've got Killing Wind, Underdog, Lead from Gold. We've got Moving Target, Ambitious Assassin, Surplus. We've got Rampage. We've got Threat Detector, Wellspring again, Unrelenting, Snapshot Sights, and also Auto Loading Holster. Gotta be frank, I really never used these types of grenade launchers other than when we had mountaintops. So you guys let me know in the comment section what role you would like on these things. Actually help me out when I get this damn thing. Next up, we've got Star in Shadow. And this looks like it comes from the Crucible according to the database. And looks familiar. It looks like a legendary, no time to explain. But this thing has so many different perks to choose from. So obviously I like Accurize Rounds. Curated version has Outlaw and Thresh. In the first column, you can get Threat Detector, Genesis, Field Prep, Underdog, Firmly Planted, Quick Draw, Surplus, Killing Wind, Feeding Frenzy, Outlaw, Pulse Monitor, Grave Robber. Uh, we've got Disruption Break. We've got Eye of the Storm. We've got Kill Clip. We've got uh, Snapshot Sights, Head Seeker, Moving Target, Thresh. We've got Demolitionist, we've got Dragonfly, Sympathetic Arsenal, a Vorpal Weapon, and also Elemental Capacitor. Now, again, I'm not a huge fan of the high impact frame pulse rifles because they fire too slow, but man, there is just a plethora of different perks you can get on this thing. Season Pass Scout Rifle, the Royal Chase. Precision frame fires 180 rounds per minute. So if you just grab it from the Season Pass, it's got auto loading holster and dragonfly, but you can get it with accurized rounds down the road. You can get it with full auto, you can get it with no distractions, field prep, grave robber, auto loading holster, slideways, uh, multi kill clip. I like that. Dragonfly, Thresh again, Quick Draw, and also Threat Detector. I'd say for myself, the ideal role would be Accurized Rounds. Uh, I probably would like Full Auto Trigger System, and I'm going to say Multi Kill Clip or Thresh. The Xenoclast 4, and I'm sure you're familiar with it if you run Strikes, because I've got like a dozen of these things. So this one's a lightweight frame shotgun, so 65 impact, range of 50. But it's got a gazillion perks. You can get lead from gold, slideways, grave robber, pulse monitor, underdog, dual loader. Reloads two shells at a time, but reduces that reload speed by 50. Sounds good in theory, but I got one with it, and I didn't like it. It stinks. We got surplus. We've got slideways, hip fire grip, genesis, field prep, and auto loading holster. You can get it with accurized rounds. Forgot to mention that. You can get unrelenting. You can get demolitionist. One two punch, hitting an enemy with every pellet in a shot increases your melee damage for a short time. I like that. Rampage. We've got trench barrel. After every successful melee hit, this weapon gains increased damage, handling, and reload speed for a short time. Uh, we've got thresh. We've got killing wind. Vorpal weapon. Surrounded. Swashbuckler. Eye of the storm and disruption break. So I don't know. Um, I'd like it with accurized rounds uh maybe one two punch or trench barrel but to be frank i've got my prophet of doom from the garden of salvation raid and i don't think anything is replacing that i got a really good role in it with all the stats and perks and range masterwork and love that thing we've got the blast batu this comes from the season pass and it is a adaptive frame grenade launcher and it comes with well it can roll with spike grenades you definitely want it with spike grenades we've got clown cartridge killing wind Pulse Monitor, Threat Detector, Moving Target, and also Quick Draw. You can get it with Rampage, you can get it with Disruption Break, Snapshot Sight, Chain Reaction. Each final blow with this weapon creates an elemental damage explosion. I do kind of like that. I haven't tried it yet, but it sounds good on paper. And we have Auto Loading Holster and also Wellspring again. We've got a new Gambit weapon, and this one's a Grenade Launcher. So this one's going to be an Adaptive Frame again. And I got a roll on this. It's not the greatest but I've been enjoying it actually so far. So this one can roll with spike grenades. Of course, I think you always should get spike grenades. 
comes with, uh, well, you can get it to roll with Grave Robber, Underdog, Ambitious Assassin, Genesis, Killing Wind, Field Prep, we've got Surplus, Clown Cartridge, Pulse Monitor, Threat Detector. The final column, you can get Moving Target, Rampage, Unrelenting, Elemental Capacitor, Snapshot Sights, Thresh, Demolitionist, Chain Reaction, and Quick Draw. I'm going to say on this one, I definitely want Field Prep because I love to crouch, especially with grenade launchers and reload really quickly. I definitely want Spike Grenades. Um, I want to try that Chain Reaction thing out on this thing because I think if you get that final blow on an ad and it explodes, well, one, it's... if you get like a whole bunch of ads together and has it's got a decent blast radius and then you get uh you get that perk to proc chain reaction i think that could be a good combination i don't know what do you think let me know in the comment section we've got the bone chiller from europa this one's a slug round shotgun so precision frame now this thing can roll with accurized rounds and also you've got firmly planted dual loader we've got lead from gold we've got surplus auto loading holster triple tap dragonfly demolitionist slideways we've got one for all threat detector and opening shot for myself personally not a big fan of the slug shotguns then we have our first linear fusion rifle for the season and this one is going to come from the hunt for the wrathborn quest so this one is going to be a precision frame in terms of the perks you can get firmly planted killing wind we've got pulse monitor moving target no distractions outlaw Quick Draw, Unrelenting, Demolitionist, Thresh, Kill Clip, and also High Impact Reserves. The actual curated version has Extended Barrel, Ionized Battery, and No Distractions with Kill Clip. I think this is the only machine gun we have for the season. This one is the Thermal Erosion. This one's a rapid fire frame, so 900 rounds per minute, but I will tell you this right now. I have a couple. You gotta put Counterbalance on it or do something about the recoil because the recoil is pretty bad on this thing but um it can roll with i'd say there's one combination i really want first off you can get it with high cal rounds or ricochet rounds or armor piercing rounds you can get it with killing wind quick draw zen moment underdog hip fire grip or field prep from that column i would want zen moment or i'd want field prep it reloads really quickly when you empty the magazine but if you crouch and reload it's going to be really fast but Zen Moment, if you're laying into a target, a big boss, yellow bar, it'll help with the recoil. Then we have Dragonfly, uh, Dynamic Sway Reduction, Wellspring, I want it with Wellspring. We've got Snapshot Sights or Demolitionist or Tap the Trigger. So I'd say either Demolitionist, Wellspring, Dynamic Sway Reduction. Mine has Dragonfly on it, so sometimes it actually procs, but I would want the final column to have either Dynamic Sway Reduction or Wellspring. We've got a new rocket launcher from Europa called the Sub-Zero salvo but i gotta be frank you know, it's gonna be hard pressed for me to put down my bad omens that you could just buy from the drifter it's year four it's got tracking it's got a cluster bomb and it's great so for the first two columns you want to try to get anything for velocity and blast radius in my opinion you can get it with killing wind moving target ambitious assassin which overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills before reloading underdog we've got surplus increases your handling reload speed and stability for each fully loaded charged ability quick draw then we have that chain reaction again each final blow with this weapon creates an elemental damage explosion could be kind of cool on this thing unrelenting it can roll with cluster bombs i like that we've got thresh again demolitionist and we have snapshot sights so it can roll with cluster bomb and if you fiddle around with the first two columns you probably could get a good roll on this thing but i'm using my bad omens the pinnacle weapon for this season which you can get from crucible vanguard or gambit however you want to play and i've gotten mine but i haven't picked it up because i want to pick it up before the raid so that the power level keeps going up but everyone that has this or has picked it up says it is amazing so this is an adaptive frame it comes with accurized rounds hammer forged rifling you can go with triple tap or killing wind vorpal weapon or snapshot sight so i'm thinking this thing's going to be great for pve or for pve so i can't wait to pick it up from banshee all right guys uh, that's it for the video sorry for the long one but i wanted to cover everything in detail and let me know in the
comment section what you think of some of the roles. Also, if you're a streamer or use OBS, uh, you want to check out NVIDIA Broadcast from NVIDIA. Uh, this is what I use every single week on stream to do a couple of things. One, change the background behind my image or do effects, uh, remove noise from my uh, microphone so there's no background noise where there's like an air conditioner or stuff going on outside. But then also you can apply it to people in your party chat if they have some unwanted feedback or noisy people in the background. It can mute that stuff out and you could hear your friends easier so check them out i will link them in the description leave me a hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end and do me a favor drop a like in this video only if you see fit follow me on twitter at mesa sean check out my stream usually no one's on youtube and that's it i am out of here like vladimir